Howdy folks. In today's review, we are going to be taking a look at a a pair of accidents actually. <laughs> well, one was necessary, the other was an accident. I had a project, had a project because I finished it now. Uh, I needed something that could drill a hole. You get, uh, as with all these things, you get a box and you get some stuff inside of a box. I needed help with uh, guidance, literally is all that uh, all that I was after. You know what these are, you saw the thumbnail, you read the uh, uh, description or the title, maybe the description. What you get is, well, just show it to you. You get a tool in a box, like that, and you get a tool in a box, like that. Now, the reason I got two of these Oh, uh, well, you, <laughs> if it wasn't for bad luck, there'd be no luck at all, right? So, what I was doing, I I, I had a, a, a cutting board to do a repair job on, and I've been wanting something like this for quite a long time, not just for that project, but I knew I was going to use it on a project like that, along with, uh, like, building window frames and, and other things that I know I got coming up in the future. So... I wanted something that could allow me to drill a hole and make sure that my hole was going to be straight. That was literally all I was looking for. I could take a measurement, I can eyeball, but when precision counts, well, you know, <laughs> a steady hand, you can't always count on a steady hand. So this this steadies your your bit, in other words, so that your hand can shake a little and this thing will still hold your bit more or less straight. Anyway, that's the general idea of the thing. And uh, I was looking at them, and <laughs> as, as I'm sure you are, right? You've seen dozens, if not hundreds of dozens, or dozens of hundreds. Uh, all the goofy-ass names, the Chinese made-up names, the fly-by-night names, all made in China. You know, you know how the game is played. There are wild ranges of prices on these things. Ooh, where, where's the money going? <laughs> What's worth $17? versus, you know, a $45 tool versus a $145 tool. Now, I'll tell you right now, I don't have the $145 tool. I have a $50 tool and I have an on sale uh, 30, I think this was 35, uh, somewhere in that ballpark. What is the difference? Well, just, just real quick and dirty. Get you up close and personal with them a little bit. Hopefully beat some of that glare. Can you visually see a difference? Just by looking at the thing. I'll tell you, there is a, there's quite a difference. There's quite a difference in weight. There's a difference in uh, the physical size of the things. And the thickness of that centerpiece there. Yeah, I want to line them up for you so you can actually see that. One is definitely thicker than the other. Uh, the machining, just, just, this feels... But you know what? This feels like a $35 tool at, at best. This feels like a, a Chinese knockoff. This feels like, you know, somebody really cared and, you know, spent the time to clean up the threads. And I mean, this is, this is nice and buttery smooth. There's no uh, crunch, crunch, crunch when you, when you turn the, uh, the main uh, thread there, threaded device. This... This I can I you know I really got to grip the hell out of that. It's it spins and then crunching and spinning crunching spinning crunching. Oh, it's just bad. Just it's it's so bad. All right. Uh, I'm gonna give you the name of this so you know which one not to buy. <laughs> but this thing's going back. I haven't even used it. I did use that, and we're gonna use it again here live on camera so you get the general idea of how well the thing works, what it does, and you know different ways you can utilize it, but, uh, man, this, uh, <laughs> this is just, it's just bad. That, that was, you know, my first impressions, and then I went to go install one of these. Let me just show you now real quick. Uh, you can see here, if I Get the camera to focus. All right. Uh, quarter, three-eighths, five-sixteenths, seven-sixteenths, and half-inch. It has these little uh, 
steel, supposedly hardened steel bushings that you can install, or that you must install, in other words, to change the diameter of the hole. You know what, that one, oh, I got a good one, this one, this time around. That one actually went in pretty good. I went to screw one into this hole, and my God, was it the crunchiest thing ever. You know, I don't know if they're, I mean, I didn't see anything nasty in the threads, but my God, screwing that thing in, <laughs> it just made my skin crawl. It was so bad. You know what, that one's going okay, too. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what the problem is. This thing is supposed to seat. Are we gonna focus? It's supposed to seat according to the pictures, but my God, that's that's it. And now, now it's kind of locked up. Now I can't, now I can't undo the damn thing. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it just, it's got real crunchy towards the end there. Just, just. Just guys, no, <laughs> just stay the hell away from this thing. Uh, this shouldn't have been 35. It should have been one of the $17 versions. This is just bad, okay? I mean, it comes with, it's hard to argue with what it comes with. You get drill bits and little stopper bushings and whatever, you know, stuff that you can just use regular masking tape for. Uh, <laughs> there's no value in it. it, it if the tool itself is that crappy, you know, the drill bits are going to be, you know, <laughs> probably probably the king of crap, honestly. I'm not going to, you know, bother opening the package because that's going back. Let's, uh, well, I, I show you that to show you this because this is, this is, you know, not worth $35. And in my opinion, I don't know that this is worth 50 but I can send you here, you know, and feel confident that you're going to get your, you're going to get some real, you know, honest use out of this thing, some endurance and whatnot. This, yeah, just, just no. So I'm going to throw this in the, uh, well, I'll put it in the box later. Just focus on this one here. Now, the downside to this, the only downside I can honestly think of, these bushings are not replaceable. And they don't go all the way down. Let's see how we can focus in on that. You can see what I'm talking about there, right? Now, the reason for that is because if they, if they put that steel bushing all the way through, the material that they'd have to hog out of this uh, center aluminum piece here would just, you know, they, they'd turn this into a paper-thin piece and then it would just break and bend and that wouldn't work. So, yeah, you can see what's going on there, right? Now, the downside is, and I, I've already used this. I used a 3 8 one. I think you can see that, right? Hopefully you can see that. Uh, the downside is naturally that, you know, where there's not a steel bushing, there's only aluminum. And if you get a hardened steel drill bit, the flutes of a drill bit up against aluminum, you're going to chew the crap out of it, and that's just the end result of that. Uh, how long will this last? I don't know. I mean, if you're careful, it probably lasts you a good long time. But uh, I put I put maybe a dozen holes. I, I drilled maybe a dozen holes uh, using the 3 8 bit on this one. And, I mean, I've certainly... I've certainly chewed up the anodized, the pretty anodized orange color on it. Hopefully that's all coming out for you. But uh, the tool feels good. It is it is what I would expect for, you know, anything in the $50 range, I guess. Just just works. It feels good. It's got these uh, a uh, rubber bumper, you know, and that's that feels like real rubber to me. So it's non-mooring, just, you know, well-machined, very nice looking, feels good. You know, this is certainly not a, not a featherweight tool. Uh, I, I, I'm happy with it. Overall, I, I mean, I'm happy with it. But how well does it actually work? So let me set you up here a little different, and we will put it to task. Punch a couple holes and see what it does. All right, real quick then, I took my handy-dandy square. I got a uh, 
2x3 and a 1x1. And let's just say, you know, willy-nilly, you want to, you know, put something like that together just to make a T. So, what we're going to do is we'll get our set of little dowels. Here, I'm going to open this up and I'll show you one. I'm going to use the same 3 8 hole that I've been using because, you know, why wear out a new one just for demonstration purposes? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyway, we're going to use these little wooden pegs. I'll put a link to them down in the description as per usual. Uh, make your shopping trip a little easier. Let's start with here. We'll uh, stick her up. Got to open up a touch. Hang on one second. I'm getting there. Now, let me get this uh, set up a little bit. And then I'll show you what it uh, looks like. There we go. Kind of something, sort of something like that. Are we going to beat the glare? Boy, I hope you can see. There's a, uh, you know, there's there's white lines in there. How close can we get in focus? What you want to do is match the, you know, the white line to eh, something like that. To whatever mark you're going to make. Right? And I just eyeballed center. It doesn't matter to me. It was, oh, how should I say? Uh, perpendicular or up and down, vertically. <laughs> there we go. There's a word for it. Vertically, uh, I, I, I had them matched up, but left and right, I did not. So, because I don't care about left or right, I, I, I care about if I put a, uh, a hole here and everything was even, you know, top and bottom. <laughs> vertically, yes. <laughs> Will I be able to drill a hole here, drill a hole here, and have them match up the exact same way as when I made the mark? That is what we're going to uh, find out here. Let's uh, cinch this down real quick. All right. That should be good and tight. Hopefully that's coming out. You can see that. And uh, nothing to do now except make a mess, I guess. Get your handy dandy spin of a thing and punch a hole. Something like that. I don't care about depth. I mean, I just eyeball the thing because uh, this is just for demonstration. Man, didn't have to make it that tight. Yeah, that's, uh, my mark is not center of the one by one, or sorry, this is a two by two. <laughs> one and a half by one and a half is what it comes out to. But as I flip this forward, you should be able to see that hole looks dead center with that line, don't it? Looks it to me anyway. Now let's see if it transfers. That's the, you know, that's the real kicker. Will it, tra oops. you know what? That was the wrong one. <laughs> that might've been interesting. Let's see if we can uh, both see this together. That looks, Pretty much dead center to me on the line. What are you thinking? Well, I think that's where we're gonna punch a hole right there. All right, another one. I'm gonna intentionally drill this one shallow because I think I did go a little deep on the other, or on the first hole. Should be all right. Now, nothing to it except to go stick a plug in it like that, right? And then, well, let's line up the marks. Yeah. 
All right, let's, uh, hopefully I can keep that without moving, without spinning it, in other words. Hopefully you can see how, you know, that lines up in the fitment. Of course, I picked a nice straight end to drill a hole in. <laughs> but you, you see the fitment. You see how even that is. And that's what I was talking about. Uh, Width-wise is what I tried to line it up with. Whoop, line it up to. Don't move, don't move. And you, you know, right out of the box. I made no adjustments to the tool. I just, you know, did my best to line it up. And, on, I mean, on this two pieces of wood here. Damn it. All right, well, I'll just hold top and bottom. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about there. That did a really, really good job. And I didn't have to adjust nothing. Some people were complaining I saw on other tools, or various tools, I should say. These two Allen keys here, on, or the Allen uh, bolts on the back, if you loosen them, then that will allow this center bushing to rotate. And that's not a bushing, that's actually a threaded... Uh, insert. You spin that to adjust this back plate to, you know, move it in or out. And that's all there is to adjustment if it ever gets out of adjustment. You know, there's really nothing more to it than that. It's a very simple device. Uh, the only thing, the only thing that, you know, kind of puts a question mark in my mind is, you know, that aluminum. I mean, you see how I'm digging into it. And it's not it's not for lack of trying. <laughs> it's not. It, it, it's just. It's going to happen. Every every hole that I've drilled thus far, I see aluminum shavings uh, on, on my workspace. So, yeah, it's it's not for lack of trying. It's just going to happen. And I don't know how. You know how how will that affect it over time? I don't know. I I only imagine it's going to get egged out and get worse over time. And then you know as. As that hole begins to egg out and, you know, oblong, well, then that's going to put more pressure pressure on the uh, steel bushing. That's going to start to take the brunt of that, that you know, egginess, the, the wobble and whatnot. And then that's going to start to wear out. So I, I, I don't know which is good, bad, better, or, you know, <laughs> whatever. At least there's nothing crunchy to screw in here. I don't know how long it's going to last, but as long as it has to, I guess. Now, you can spend easily, you know, $100 plus on these things, and I don't think none of them are worth it. But is this worth 50 I don't know. I mean, I'd like, I wish this was 35 This is worth every, every dime of a $35 purchase. But if you're going to use it, you know, a few times a year, a couple of projects, you know, a lifetime, <laughs> then yeah, absolutely. Uh, if, if you're going to be, you know, using it at least once a week, making money with it, that sort of a thing, for a lifetime, yeah, maybe maybe look at something else. But uh, I, I do like it. I, I'm very happy with it. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, but... Uh, it is written on the box here. Why don't I just grab it? Netra. There we go. That's the brand name. And uh, it, after, I think it was three days after I, I, the thing had arrived to my door, they sent me an email uh, straight from the company and uh, just doing a follow-up, just checking with me to make sure that I was happy with the product and that uh, they were having some Issues with some of their driver or some of the delivery people beating the crap out of their products is, is what the email said. And they just wanted to make sure that I was satisfied that it arrived safe and sound. And yes, it did. And I am happy with it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where to put it. The nickels, dimes, dollars, and cents. And then uh, where am I going to write it on a zero to ten scale? I mean, I, I'm really happy with it overall. It's just... It, my only complaint, my <laughs> just one, and it's only the fact that, you know, drill bits, the flutes of a drill bit are going to start chewing the crap out of the aluminum there where there is no steel bushing. So that's my only, my only issue. All right. Uh, that's, that's what it is. That's what it does. Works great. I like it. I'm very happy with it. I would recommend it, like I said, for the home gamer like myself. I'm not going to be using the thing all the time. 
So, um, on a zero to ten, where would I put it? I'm going to give it a seven. I think it's worth every bit of a seven. For the price, you know, it was about 50 bucks. But uh, it's, it's, it's definitely a far superior tool to any of the $35 versions of the same thing. So if, if, you're, if you're wanting something that's going to last you for a little while at least, <laughs> def definitely start here. Don't, I wouldn't even waste your time with a $35 crap because that stuff, it, well, you saw. <laughs> okay. That's where 35 bucks will get you, that, that black one. And I'll, I'll put a link to it down there just so you know what not to buy. Uh, you know, start here and work your way up is what I would say. All right, this is going to wrap this one up, I believe. I'm going to call it a quits right there. Hope you liked the video. You know, give me one of these if you did. Give me one of those if you didn't. And uh, do the likes, the subscribe, the bells, the whistles, all that crap. And, hey, we're going to see you next one. Thanks for hanging out, guys. And uh, cheers.